Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Naked Heat collection from Urban Decay. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. I'm so happy to see you again. If you are brand spanking new, welcome! And if you like beauty videos, I do upload three times a week, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So, okay. You guys know we're going to review the Urban Decay Naked Heat collection. And if you guys have seen my most recent anti-haul video, I was like, oh hell no. I am not gonna pick up the Naked Heat palette. Nuh-uh, not gonna buy it. No way, no how. And uh, to my utter shock and surprise, um, Urban Decay actually sent me the whole collection as a PR package. I had no idea it was coming, it just landed on my front door. So, um, you know, I'm really thankful for that and thank you Urban Decay. But I do want to be really honest with you guys, this was something that I had no plans on getting whatsoever. But now that I have it here, I figure, shoot, well, we might as well go ahead and review it, right? So, you know, with that in mind, you guys know what my personal opinions are if you watched the anti haul video, but I'm going to review this without, you know, my personal opinions, just for those of you guys that are interested in it, and um, I want to make sure that you guys have all the facts if you're planning on actually buying it. So, in this collection, when you open it up, right here, you get the eyeshadow palette, you get two lip liners and three lipsticks, um, as you can see right here. So I'm going to be doing some swatches for you guys. I'm also going to talk about the price and um, showing you guys what the actual lip product looks like on my lips. Now I want you guys to let me know in the comments, do you think that these products are worth it? Would you actually buy them? I want to know your thoughts. So, uh, also with that being said, I almost forgot to mention, um, I don't think most people know, but when you do get PR, it doesn't mean that you're getting paid to talk about the product. They just send it to you in hopes that maybe you would do something, but you're not obligated. I just wanted to make that clear so that you guys know that this doesn't influence, you know, my video or anything like that. I'm just doing this because I know a lot of you guys really want to see the collection and what it looks like on someone of my skin tone. So with that being said, let's Let's go into the details and all that jazz. The actual Naked Heat palette, the packaging is pretty bomb guys, like I'm not gonna lie. They got me with that. So inside it comes with a brush that just fell <laughs> and it also comes with 12 shades and most of them are pretty much in that warm toned family. The first three shades really aren't you know something that i would touch but the actual shade low blow is really something that i would use to mask any discoloration or set some eye primer and the other ones are all warm tones really beautiful shimmery shades and the mattes actually blend out really really nice and these are the swatches actually on my arm. Now guys, I know that the matte shades do not look like much. I totally see why the whole controversy with the swatches was a big deal. But I will say that the mattes actually blend out really nicely on the eyes. And the shimmer shade looks super lovely. They just shine in these swatches. Now I will say that you can actually use a brush wet on any of these shades and you can uh, create a liner, which is pretty cool. I love that feature. And the actual shimmer shades are designed to be used wet on the eyelids. So please make sure if you're using them that you use a setting uh, spray and then they're gonna go on really nicely on your lids. Now I will say that I did use the shade Lumber, which is the fifth one from the left. And I found that, you know, later on in the day, it definitely did crease, which is so weird because I used some of my best eye primers. So, you know, I didn't really expect that and I was kind of disappointed, but I have to see what the other shimmery shades, like how they do, you know? 
Now moving on to the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. This is the shade Alkaline. And you guys, I totally used this as a lip liner and it was bomb. <laughs> They're very, very smooth, creamy. I mean, they looked awesome on the lips, so I can imagine that it probably looks beautiful on the eyes as well. And this here shade is the shade Torch. And I really, really like it as well. I also use this one as a lip liner by accident, but I'll show you guys how they both performed. Like, I thought that they just looked stunning. Now, the retail price for both of these guys is $20. And I think that's, you know, a pretty fair price considering how smooth they are. So this beautiful uh, creamy shade is called Fuel, and it's more of like a nudish pink. And if you are someone of my skin tone, you could definitely pair this with a brown liner and it would look absolutely gorgeous on you. And the next one here, this is called Heat. And it's a metalized lipstick and it definitely has a nice red tone. And you'll see, I'll show you guys how this looks on me. Very beautiful as well. And you can pair it with the Torch Lip Liner eye pencil you know what I mean <laughs> either way you can use them for you know both purposes now this one here is called scorched which is probably my favorite I just love the like metallic bronze like tones that it has and I think it's very brown girl friendly and it can also work on you know tan shades as well I think that would look really really nice now each of these retails for $17 you guys in this clip here I'm wearing alkaline eye pencil mixed with torch on top and it looks so beautiful I just feel it look like it looks like super sultry you know what I mean here I'm wearing torch mixed with heat now this combo is like a very va va voom kind of like color combo you know what i mean but it is very very beautiful and i could get down with this i could definitely rock this so that's the whole collection guys i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to let me know if you think that these products are worth it if you would purchase anything what would you be purchasing and why i love knowing your guys opinions and don't forget to check out my beauty products reviews playlist where I've got lots of goodies that I've reviewed in past videos and don't forget guys I love you guys and I will see you in the next video bye